mazingira yangu kwa karibu kuzaa mabasha kali kimoja haijai za less than 12 big less than more than 12 to me haijai haiendangi less than 12 azaanga 12 13 12 13 which unapata those 12 after one and a half months each labda chukua na 3k so kazi ni yeah one and a half month so kaili kwa watoto 10 in that first game today i meet with nashon uh, the farmer from from zimmerman and specifically uh, is a farmer for farmer for pigs whereby i want or i wish all of us to hear his story how he started uh, how uh, farming and uh, rearing of pigs is is taking him is he making any uh, benefits is he make, is he making any any progress since he started so let's hear more about him and uh, yeah nation nyaji nzuri sana uko fit kabisa sasa tupeleke na na rada ya hii mbona kwanza kaanza na specifically na na nguruwe mm, i think with my passion mm-hmm. Angu nimeishi kufanya nimeishi kusikia kufanya something different. Okay. Niko tu nime nimelelewa na ngombe, mbuzi, kuku. So it is nikwata kwanza something else. Yeah. Different yenye ninasikia yenye inayepelekana na passion yangu. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Alafu kama ni ni pigs. Eh yeah, after kufanya research zangu, at least ndio lazima ufanye biashara test unajua itarudisha. Kitu profitable ikenye one nguruwe ita inanga sile by intensive mhm uh, yeye mkimalizana nayo hapa ni hivyo okay. uh, unlike kitu kama ngombe sisi saa tisa umeamka ukijoka mwe sijui umeenda kupeleka maziwa sijui nini <laughs> so uh, kwa setting yangu haingi ingiana vizuri so this one has not much demand like uh, rearing of cows and uh, goats and uh, sheep labor yake ni labor haina siko sile by intensive kama ngombe na mazi mengine mm eh hii kitu inakulanga toys pale ngombe ni yashinda kikula the whole yeah. and uh, specifically where in this uh, in this location are you the only one that is doing the pig farm uh, do you have friends and uh, why specifically this area ma uh, one pia kwenye mtu availability ya land okay hiyo yeah, yeah, ni factor ya kwanza juu unaweza ni watu wengi sana wanapenda wanaweza taka kukulea nguruwe in urban areas oh, yeah. ama whichever farming hata kani ngombe but sasa land ni hindrance ya kwanza mm-hmm. hakuna land place mingi watu wamejenga so uko test ni think take advantage kuna shamba kidogo kidogo mtu anaweza pata yeah. Yeah. but sasa huku huku tuna lease nika rent una rent pa hiyo also you pay for this land yeah okay Yeah. but huko una, una land structure na jijenga yeah. and uh, according now that we are in a very let's say hard time in Kenya whereby economically you are not doing so good what motivates you from uh, staying in this uh, pig rearing uh, farming other than do you have any other option whereby from that from that another job you get cash from there and put it in your pig farming or is that do you just do this as a full time job okay nguruwe si okay si fanya ngi kwa full time you want no no i took the whole day so it's just like that minutes hapa ni shamba alize story tarudi jana huko jioni so unapata lazima uko na biashara zingine unafanya you see at nataka commitment yako the whole day Mm-hmm. Uh, so una bidi una create to hustle to ingine huko. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the difference between uh, rearing the pigs in terms of uh, either cash in terms of uh, the market the market value difference from uh, the pig and the cows. Uh, okay, bangu na sema one maturity. Okay maturity ya nguruwe ni fast sasa huyu hiyo nguruwe unaona hapa hiyo nguruwe ni 4 months old okay huyo mwenye anacheza na bucket 4 months old mm-hmm. ha ingekuwa ni kitu kaka kondoo kitu kaka 4 months old kitu kaka dogo sana oh, yeah. tu 
kutoka inguru yangu kwa karibu kuzaimu bashaka wiki moja haijai za less than 12 figures less than more than 12 haijai haiendangi less than 12 azanga 12 13 12 13 <laughs> of which unapata uh, those 12 after one and a half months each labda chukua na 3k so kazi ni eh one and a half months so kai likuwa uh, watoto 10 in that 5k Okay. So there's so much uh, benefits in rearing pigs more, uh, than cows. Yeah, yeah, I think there's some ever you market here, excuse me, market demand here in Gurwe sai iko very high. These companies are uh, like in a farmers choice our individual brokers sai at high touch. You say you know kama venye feeds zilipanda. Feeding cost ya ngurue kwa kufuga ngurue kenda juu. So, farmers wakafungua. Obvious, wenye kuenanga na loyo demand and supply. Supply ya ngurue ikapungua. Mm-hmm. Juu, tosa wakulima wameisha. Demand ikapanda juu. Yeah. Na the more demand inapanda juu, price pia ikapanda. Yeah. Wata juu ni kianza kufuga ngurue, kitambo ni hizi za nyama, sa hiko juu. Mm. Yeah. Na ume mention story ya uh, umesema demand. So swali yangu nyingine ni is there any specific food that you give it to the pigs? Let's say like uh, we have uh, cows whereby they are being given grass. Is there a specific food for for the pig and uh, where do you get them? How do you get them? Are they cheap or or expensive? Uh, in terms of feeds ni zangu anga na mix na zienda anga the commercial ones mm-hmm. za duka na enda anga hapa resam za kwa farmers cheese dunia wanauza sai ni 1500 ya 50 kg na pia nazitafuti anga hizo machakula za hoteli maugali nini sisi tunaje ni kujaribu ku cut cost kiasi eh mm-hmm. yeah. cut cost ni one kubakishia kitu kidogo mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, as a young person, uh, I want you to tell, to talk to someone also there, whether that's someone that wants to start such a business, either pigs, cows, or generally as a starting to farm, tell him something as a motivation. What, that, what does he need to do? How can he get the cash? If he doesn't have the cash of the place, tell him how, on how to go about it. Mm, okay, before I think in as advice me to before one the easy farming, one ina kuja mpaka na passion. Mm-hmm. Si ati wende kwa beshti hapo upate mifuga kuku na uka kimbio kafuga kuku. So, hata kama unataka ku join, at least gather some more knowledge. Si ati ulienda tu ulipata mtu alienda kabai tungurue mahali na uka kimbia kwenu kabai na una ile background una knowledge yeah, after kununua then what mm-hmm. zimekuja inakula chakula gani so lazima trust tena hizi uzuri wa okay hii ni kaa tu any other business lazima uko na strategy utakuwa okay. unapata happy food you unaweza kuwa ulikuwa tu na hiyo capital ya kununua watoto ama nguruwe mzima mm-hmm. but then what what next after hapo utakuwa unatoa happy chakula yake okay kasa hii soko soko iko sawa sasa si ati nile mtu analikuwa analiza nimefuga ndapeleka wapi mm-hmm. sasa hii soko hata itoshi demand iko juu sana sasa hii ya nguruwe ah uh, yengine kama okay capital lazima ufanye research yako ujue kufuga nguruwe moja ina take how much mm-hmm. depending na settings za mtu ndio kuna wale mwenye anataka kufuga purely na chakula ya duka mwenye anafuga purely na chakula ya duka na mwenye anafuga na both ya duka na ya ya mahoteli mm-hmm. hamna ham cost the same. Yeah. so lazima ukijua setting yako depending na setting yako setting yako unata, unatumia nini gani kama ni ya duka ujue from kakiwa kadogo hadi kwa kubwa inahitaji amount ya tashana aje mm-hmm. yeah. kaa ni capital sasa capital hii inalingana mtu either uko na backup ya family backup ya friends ama kama labda umeajiriwa mahali Eh, labda naweza kukusema certain percent ya mshahara yangu kwa naweka huko which hii ni ina kuanga savings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
project ya pigs ni savings jo the moment we make uh, let's say 10000 kwa nguru uko 100% how that we go hiyo 10k hapa that we kill labda 15000 20000 yeah. and uh, as we conclude where can people reach out to you whether they want to buy whether they want to have, just have a knowledge uh, just the way that you, someone gave some knowledge to you how will they find you do you have a page do you have somewhere strategic that people can find you uh, one other than reach out kwa facebook okay. facebook na ijita na hashon mwangi kama ni number simu na za pe ni 0724 394 177 just in corner as always as as a bigger sim in for free and don't say yeah so asante uh sandy kwale i think you are mimi ni melani ni melala one or two three things uh, from where mm. you being a young man you are mimi ni funza na ni genda kiasi ya si lazima si lazima Ah, you start small. Yeah. Yeah, you start small. You see, rafiki yako wako na nguruwe mia. Mm. Nenota ukimizana na ye mia. Anza na zako mbili, tatu. Mm. Wendo kigrow. Sao, sao. Yeah. Asante sana. Sao, karibu sana. Thank you guys for this episode. And uh, let's meet to the next one.